Hey guys, it's Natasha. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. So I want to talk about the Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder Oil Free in the color 101 Invisible Matte. Right there. If you can see that right there. I have been using this powder for years. And this is probably my 50th compact from Clinique. Um, I've never had a problem with it. I've never had any issues with it. In regards to performance on my, my skin, I have never had any kind of bad reaction to that. So that's good. The bad part is, is that you lose so much of the product because when it reaches a certain point, it will slide off. So I didn't get to finish this 100%. I think there was probably um, a quarter left of the product. However, when I was trying to, because it went up here, when I was trying to clear it off, everything kind of fell. So, I just like, then I'll make a video of it. <laughs> um, would I recommend this? Yes, I will. However, I am using a different brand. Now I'm using Estee Lauder um, Compact and not this one. I wanted to try something different because I'm, you know, I've been using this so long and I don't know, I'm thinking, you know, you know how it is. You want to try something different, something new. Maybe it's better. So we'll see. Um, so I have extremely sensitive skin. If this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos, I have very, very sensitive skin. Extremely sensitive. So if nothing happened to my skin during this and you think you have sensitive skin as well, then this could be a powder for you. Um, anything else? Oh, I also like that it does not have, it does not have, um, sunscreen on it. I really don't like that, um, when there's sunscreen on makeup. I don't know. I just, it's just my personal preference. Um, Clinique has always had this, this color, you know, it's, I, I always just remember this with, people in my family because I don't know I guess women in my family use Clinique a lot and so this has always been in my house like this this pattern that they have that looks like stone like green stone so it's just a little bit you know nostalgia I guess um would I recommend this yes I will recommend this for sure um I do, I, it would have been nicer if, you know, you could actually use 100% of the product because always, 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 every time I use the compact at a certain degree, when it's starting, can you please stop that? I'm sorry, that's one of my dogs. At a certain point of using it, it will start to break, it will fall apart and it will fall out of the compact. So that's the part I really don't like. Um, you have to be careful in putting this on because if you put too much on, you can look really cakey. I usually just use a kabuki brush and then I just put it all over my face, one sweep, and then I, I don't retouch anymore. When I was just using the powder itself, I would retouch. Like I would get the, um, the oil control sheet. I would you know, wipe it all over my face and then I would apply this to kind of help control the oil. Um, and it was fine, but you, you really can still see the powder. So if you want like a non powdery look, maybe this isn't for you, or maybe you can try to adjust it to your liking because I don't really like the very, like, what is that kind of starchy kind of, kind of powdery look. I don't like that either. So I do, um, I just, I don't put a lot on my kabuki brush. I rub it a little bit and I'll put it all over my face just so there's a thin layer everywhere. And then, um, can you please stop that? And then I will just put the setting spray. I'm sorry. That's my dog. I don't know what his problem is. Anyway, he's getting a little antsy. So I gotta, I gotta go and this is done anyway. Um, Thank you guys so much and I hope you subscribe to my channel as well as if you want to leave some comments down below. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening guys. Bye.